The Killer Cat Flap Parsnip lived and worked at Henry Lee's roadside restaurant. There had always been one or two cockroaches in the kitchen and Parsnip enjoyed catching them. That was her job. But after a long, hot summer, the kitchen was infested with a whole new breed of cockroaches. They were huge and menacing. They were too fast to catch and they ate absolutely everything. Parsnip started having terrible nightmares. She'd dream she was being eaten alive and when she woke she would find herself surrounded by the horrid, skittering creatures, their hairy feelers quivering in the electric air. Henry Lee put down poison, but the cockroaches were too clever for that old trick. They grew in number day by day. The health inspector told Henry that he had never seen cockroaches like them before. Henry was going to need some serious help. The next day, the health inspector returned with a small black and yellow striped box. And inside was a lizard, the size and colour of a French bean. Now this little old fellow is a roach-eating machine. The health inspector explained, you just let him loose and he'll clean this place up in no time. Parsnip was amazed at how the tiny creature went straight to work. The lizard could change the colour of its skin and perfectly disguised it waited patiently for a cockroach to scuttle out from under the fridge. And then, in a flash, the lizard's tongue lashed out a flickety slick. A split second later, the roach's wriggling body was crunched and munched between the lizard's powerful jaws. Parsnip shivered with excitement at the demise of every cockroach. This tiny creature was her saviour. She was glad that she was not a cockroach. With every flickety slick, the lizard grew bigger, and so did its appetite. The lizard got better at disguising itself. It was uncanny, and sometimes Parsnip walked right past the creature, never knowing it was there. Once, Parsnip watched a cockroach scuttle across the kitchen floor when... Lickety slick, it disappeared in front of her eyes. Parsnip looked to where she heard the lizard slobber and crunch the horrible insect. It, except there was nothing there, except maybe... As she watched, the lizard appeared out of nowhere, as if it were a photograph being developed. It swallowed hard. <clears throat> and fixed Parsnip with an empty stare. The lizard showed no feeling. It never slept. It just ate and grew bigger by the day. And soon it was bigger than Parsnip. Finally, the day came when the kitchen was cockroach-free and Parsnip could sleep in peace once more. But Parsnip woke in the middle of the night. The ticky-tacky sound of claws clicked slowly across the hard kitchen floor. Parsnip heard a sticky, crackly paper noise like dry lips being licked. But she could see nothing. The moonlight shafted through the slatted windows. Awkward shadows fell across the floor. Every nerve in Parsnip's body tingled. She sensed danger, even if she couldn't see it. The shadows surged around her like a rippling wave. 
Parsnip's heart thumped like a steam hammer. She edged towards the back door. The lizard appeared out of thin air. Its hard, scaly mouth cracked into a sinister grin. Its horrible tongue rasped across its slavering lips. <sniffs> Flickety slick. A thought raced through Parsnip's brain. He, he's eaten all the cockroaches and what's he going to live on now? Without hesitating, Parsnip burst through the cat flap. She thought she was safe until she heard the hideous noise. Flickety slick! Her cry of triumph quickly turned into a terrifying scream of fear. Fast as lightning, the cold, sticky tip of the lizard's tongue shot through the cat flap behind her and wrapped itself around her leg. Was she dreaming? Was this just a new, more terrifying nightmare? She dug her claws into the concrete bath, but there was nothing to hold on to. She bit, she scratched, she slashed at the thing that clung to her leg. It didn't flinch. It heaved and pulled with overpowering strength, slowly dragging her back to the open cat flap with a familiar click. The cat flap door fell down. Over many years, the edge of the flap had been worn to a fine, shiny finish. Fine and shiny like a knife. The more the lizard pulled, the more the edge of the flap dug into its hard, rubbery tongue. On the other side of the cat flap, the lizard howled with hunger and frustration. It yanked hard one last time. Parsnip held her breath and waited for her awful end. A second later, the sharp cat flap door sliced shut and the midnight air was filled with the lizard's sickening cry. The tongue let go its grip. It peeled away from Parsnip's leg, then shuddered and collapsed, lifeless in the dust. <laughs> the story comes from the book Scaredy Cats by Shu Rayner. Nine lives, nine tales, one book. <laughs> Click the link to find out more. Get signed copies from Shu or get them from Amazon or your other favourite bookstore.